Oh, we lo- we love a bit of a recording session. <laughs> no, this is Jake from Jake's Board Reviews, and I'm joined by my mate Isaac from uh, Sydney, Australia, and we're going to be discussing and reviewing the Chili Volume Two yes. by James Chill. And um, Isaac, give us a breakdown. What um, what have you liked um, about the board so far? Yeah, how's it going, Jake? Um, yeah. I love about the board paddles really well, gets into waves really well, but then also rips like rips when you get on waves as well. So it's like, it's a really good board for around here, just a casual surf. If it's small or if it's, if it's like a bit grindy, you just head out and it's easy. It's enjoyable. It's fun. And yeah. So with the board, it has a lot of foam, like um, at the chest area. Which is which I like because I'm like more of a front footed surfer as well. So it suits my surfing and it suits the waves that I usually surf around here. And yeah, I've really enjoying it so far. Awesome. Um, so what dimensions um have you been riding on your are you riding a stock or have you customized it or what what are the it's gyms just, for your board? It's just stock, like I saw it at Surf Culture one day, five foot seven. Um 25 liters uh yeah so i just i just picked it off the rack and yeah it goes really well so 25 liters is probably a good size for size board for me i could maybe go 24 and it'd be good but i think especially if i'm going to surf it in small waves and stuff i think 25 is is good right you know, more volume can't hurt you so, that's right more more volume never hurts anybody um for yeah, exactly for those of you that um eventually do watch this review um if you're stuck between choosing a stock board always go the bigger one by an inch or two just to make sure you get more paddling power um in your waves and also you'll you'll be the yeah. king of the lineup so that's the lesson to take from Isaac <laughs> yeah. here <laughs> king of the lineup that's all right looking over the board i think concave wise um do i think is it a single to double concave or Single to double to single, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right. So it's so, like single most of the board, and yeah. then around the fins, it's double. Right. Like it usually is, and then it's just single on the way out. And uh, rocker, if we're talking rocker, um, entry rocker. Yeah. Uh, what are we looking at? Are we looking at a low to medium or medium entry rocker? Um. I think I mean, it's not, I'm not too sure to be honest. I'm not too sure about um rocker. Um, okay, I'm, well, it's I'm pretty sure it's just regular regular entry rocker and stuff. Right. It's nothing too drastic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like in um, the middle probably. I'd right. Say. So you so probably a a medium entry rocker probably to help assist you in that um one two to yeah. two to five foot range. Um, that would make the yeah, most exactly. sense. Would be the conditions for this board. Um. What would you say that's yeah. the um, maximum you can push this board in, uh, size-wise, from your experience? Um, I don't like it in bigger surf, to be honest. I right. like I wouldn't. I don't really enjoy it when it gets too big. So probably like, probably like five foot. I wouldn't. I wouldn't enjoy it as much. It's definitely. It definitely goes better when the surf's smaller. The paddling, get up and go speed. How does it perform in the really? So we're saying like knee high. Yeah. One foot waves. Knee high. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit that's a bit of a tall ass knee okay, high. Right. Waves, yeah, yeah. No, it, no, it does go. I've surfed in a really small waves. The first surf I had on it, I went up to um I just went to Avalon and it was a very small day. I and um Juby was filming me. We got a few yeah. clips and I posted it on Instagram and stuff and it like I felt amazing like right off the bat because that hmm. surf it was probably two foot, but like pretty powerful swell and it just went amazing and but if it gets above five foot it's it starts to get a bit shit right but i don't really surf above five foot around here too often anyway okay yeah so and I, yeah if it's above five foot i usually take out the the js monster got you so you you have your step up yeah. for when the waves get bigger so it's just below it's kind of your daily driver um for yeah. most of the conditions that get thrown at you. Yeah, exactly. Ability wise, how's this thing um handling itself um with pressure dings and uh on a scale of one to ten? Or just I'd say generally, probably yeah. I'd say like eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I mean, what 
what's the date now? I got the board probably over like a year ago now, maybe like a year ago. I actually don't know when I got the board. I can check. Yeah, no. I got no. the board quite a while ago, and there's like no, no made, like no dings at all. So probably like eight out of ten, nine out of ten. Yeah, it's yeah. not like light glassing or anything like that. So it's okay. like very durable. Right. Yeah. Chili definitely um have quite a solid PU blank um from experience trying chili boards. They're not um yeah they're quite durable. Let's skip forward. What about how level wise intermediate? What would you say the boards um. Who would uh, suit this style of board? What level of surfers um, would um, this be catered towards? I'd say intermediate to advanced. Yeah. Okay. Intermediate, yeah, intermediate to, to advanced. Yep. And um, would you say any beginners could have a possibility of, um, if they say they went up by three inches and they got the board at like 35 liters? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Think, I yeah. mean, it's it's quite a strong board in terms of paddling. So I think right. it, it probably would be suited to beginners in that way. Okay. In that sense. Yeah. 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 And um, what about, Actually, yeah, it's probably, it probably would be a good beginner board too, because of that, the paddling right. ability. And that, that leads me to uh, my next question about rails. How are the rails mid? What do we feel under the arm when we pick it up? Are we feeling a boxy rail like the rare bird or are we feeling more uh, like a medium mm-hmm. rail? the rail can you elaborate on that what do you mean okay so right yeah pretty yeah. much this always used to confuse me as well like i didn't even ever look <laughs> yeah. into rails but um you know a lot of sometimes my biggest problem um purchasing boards has been not like feeling the rate like when they say when you put it under your, under your arm does it feel like the rails too boxy which boxy is just like too buff like buoyant and like just too thick um yeah does it feel medium so medium's like kind of in between and then a thin rail is kind of like what they used to ride in the 90s era with Kelly definitely Slater. definitely medium rail definitely okay. medium yep yeah nice yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's gonna be quite um yeah allow versatility and just yeah some some people like more boxy mm. rail to you guys yeah some people like more boxy rails yeah. um and that's just like you know for guys that are i guess a bit bigger and can push a, like, you know, way a bit more and push a lot harder throughout their turns. The older blokes probably like it a bit more at the point breaks, get more weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I no, think... No, I don't need no boxy rail. No, Medium's no. perfectly fine. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, what are, any, any last things to cover? Um, what would you, would you recommend this board for um, if most of the daily driver average like everyday servers, would you recommend this board for their use? Um, it's quite a different board to like a lot of traditional high performance short boards. I'd say people who are like a bit more front footed and what a fun board, like for a bit smaller surf. Yeah. Hmm. I definitely recommend it. So you've heard yeah. it from Isaac. We, we recommend the, um, well, he, he recommends, I haven't ridden this one, but hopefully I can in the future and, Try get James Chill yeah. to watch this video. See, that's another thing. I picked up the board. I went to pick up the board, right? right. I went into surf culture. Yep. And James Chill happened to be in the store when I was picking it up. Right. Huh. Like he happened to he just happened to be at Surf Culture Bondi. Wow. Like, chatting chatting to the owner. That's awesome. Um so yeah, froggy. I got was to it, meet is that froggy? James. Yeah, yeah, froggy. froggy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I got to awesome. meet James Chill as I was about to buy the board, and I was like, "Yeah, that's a good sign. This is going to be a awesome. good board." That's awesome! Wow. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, James. James yeah. Chill is um is a shaper based on the Pretty, northern beaches yeah. of Sydney. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, he's based in Monaville. So if you want to check out his shop, it's pretty much um yeah. a left turn by a restaurant called Tex Mex, which is a Mexican restaurant that has been sponsoring Monaville uh, board riders for. 20 years or 15 years i'm not super accurate in that but um yeah, yeah. check out his shop very nice guy as well very nice guy yep um from yeah. isaac i haven't met him but he's he looks like a nice fella but i that's coming from isaac <laughs> yeah um isaac knows nice fellas mosquitoes and um what do you call it one thing we i almost forgot to mention so on the website i was reading that these these fins this wasn't planned they just happened to be next to me but um they said that the accelerators or the performers work best 
in this board. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, tell us a little more about that. What's uh, Finn set up? What have you um, so, been writing and experimenting with? So I was writing the AM fins, the like small AM fins, and they weren't that good. I was, I really mm. wasn't liking them. So, yeah. so I got some, I went a size up and I got some performers and I'm finding I'm getting a lot more drive, a lot more speed. Um, and it's while still being like um, quite maneuverable and stuff. So yeah, the performers go very well as for the accelerators i don't i don't own a pair of accelerators so i couldn't tell you but the performers in a medium go super well yeah right yeah because i i remember when we it brings me back to a point when we were younger because um if if some of you don't know um i grew up me and isaac grew up surfing around bondi um i i relocated up the coast five years ago to byron bay and isaac's um still down there doing his thing but um yeah we grew up (laughs) surfing our chili chili boards and i think we all had a phase where a group of us got the chili grum plus and that was a really yeah. really great board it actually um, is a bit similar to okay. the chili grum plus right oh i've i've yeah so we grew up surfing quite a few chili so i think it is quite a good board and yeah i think i'm used to that shape as well mm. so that's why i really like it as well okay yeah. so so it's quite similar also to the that Grum Plus with a lot of, because the Grum Plus had like quite a lot of foam under the chest and was like yeah. very forgiving. And it, it, it also like, you know, on a lot of, because we did a few trips when we were younger, it handled in a lot of conditions um, yeah. very impressively. Like, you know, from one to even, I remember like four foot, it was handling. Not that we, I even surfed four foot that much when I was younger, but it was <laughs> yeah. handling on the bigger surf. So that's that's a very like you know if it's similar to that it can't can't be a bad board um yeah yeah so yeah. i'd love to uh try it when i can and try contact mr chill or see if he wants to be friends <laughs> yeah. see if he wants to be yeah. friends with me after this review hopefully uh we can get you know a, a board from him Vol- volume two to another part two <laughs> yeah that would be amazing yeah yeah get a few boards from him yeah that's right yeah get a also get the a2 or something andy irons nah i actually that might be too yeah. high performance but yeah no nah, something something that's um that's awesome to hear so you've heard it from isaac um my friend one of my very good mates from um Sydney. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thanks for uh coming on the jake board reviews uh probably i think we're on episode eight or seven i'm losing track so yeah thanks for thanks for having us jake no worries